Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from last few videos I am working on developing an advanced filter application and in my last video I created a database and table as well and in this video I will discuss how to write PHP code for establishing the database connection to establish the connection with the database which I have created in my last video okay so now for that first we need to go to our xamp folder inside xamp we have to go to htdocs and here we need to create a folder okay and name is advanced filter app okay inside this i will create folders like CSS okay and then I will create one more folder for storing my JS files okay so I will tell you I will make a uh, another video on how to download uh, bootstrap CSS and JS files okay so for developing this kind of uh, filter application or functionality I'm using bootstrap framework okay so in my next video i will tell you how you can download the necessary js and css files for you to work with bootstrap framework okay so now uh, let me just go to the editor okay and i will open my project i will click on file and then i will click on open folder okay and then i will click on advanced filter app okay now let me just come here okay here now i need to create few files okay so i will create one more folder uh, new folder as config okay and inside this i will create a file with a name as db.php okay okay here save it okay along with this file i also need to create one more file which is our index file file okay i will save it as index.php okay so now i will use php tags and i will include my db file which is inside config folder dot php okay so now here inside my db dot php i need to write the php code for establishing the connection with my database okay so now let me start doing that okay so for that i first need to i write server name i need to declare server name okay and the server name is localhost or you can write 127.0.0 0 dot one okay and then username username will be root okay and then password i haven't set any password so i will just leave it as it is and then database name okay in my last video you might have seen i had created a database with a name as filter app okay i need to refer the same database in this code as well okay and the name is filter app okay and then i need to create a connection mysql i connect okay and here i need to pass the server name and username Okay, and then password and finally database name okay so which i have already initialized here at the beginning okay so you just need to pass these uh, as parameters to this mysql connect okay and now you need to check okay with an if condition if our connection didn't get established then i will 
display an error message die connection field connection field okay my SQLI connect error okay otherwise if everything goes perfectly fine if my PHP code successfully manages to uh, establish a connection with the database then I will display a message as connection established successfully okay save it okay, now let me just uh, go to my uh, browser okay so before that as you can see here once you write this db.php file write the code inside this db.php file you need to come inside your index.php and you need to include this db.php file inside your index because uh, first very first when we execute our project index file index.php file will get executed okay so it's necessary for you to call uh, db.php file before running your project okay so now let me just go to my browser okay and i will type in the same dot zero dot zero dot one slash the name of our project and the project name is advanced filter app advanced filter app and then slash then okay let me just hit okay so now as you can see here since i have entered each and every details correctly perfectly fine that's why our php code db.php file successfully establishes connection with my mysql database which i have created here okay so that's why i have received a message as connection established successfully okay suppose if i made any mistakes okay if i uh, write any wrong database name filter application okay suppose i have written some wrong database which we which which is not been exist okay so now in this case let us see what error it will display see here it's displaying you a messages connection failed okay so this the same message i have written down here connection failed okay so if you made any mistake while writing down the details of your database in your db.php file then you will see this kind of error okay so now i hope uh, now you are clear with all these things okay so now let me just correct this out save it okay so now again i will refresh and i will get a messages connection established successfully okay so now that means we have successfully established connection with our database my school database okay so that's all for this video guys in my next video i will discuss how we can use this bootstrap framework okay so all this styling is been done with bootstrap framework and i will tell you all this everything about downloading and uh, installing bootstrap framework in my next video okay so uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching